Oh my god. Like, what do you think is wrong with the lights? Like, is it sometimes the one that's like, oh yeah, well, that's kind of nice. But I thought we could take these off. Yeah. I mean, we could definitely take them off. Though. Yeah. Should we just take them off? Unless you want to try and figure out. No. Okay. And then the seat. Oh my god. It's gonna look so cute with a star on top, though. Yeah, you can go a little bit heavy. And I guess it's getting smaller at the top, too, as we go. I've done this before, but not really. Like, I helped mom do it, but mom always, like, did it. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like, fine. Oh, it's gonna reach all the way up to the top. <laughs> yeah. We're getting close. Yeah. I'm glad I got three. I just wish that little bit was glowing. But uh, I mean, if you make the star, we can do it. It's quite the tree. Nice. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Yeah. Later that night, I put out some more decor. So I got this wreath from my mom and I just added these twinkly battery operated lights from Amazon. They're on a timer and I thought they looked really cute. The next thing I did was hang up my stockings, or AJ and I's stockings. My mom made these for us and it felt so, I don't know, so good hanging them up in our first home. I feel like this Christmas I just feel so blessed. This is the piece I was waiting for. My dad last Christmas made us this nativity scene and we couldn't put it up last Christmas because it was after Christmas, we live in Texas, it didn't make sense to bring it all the way over there, but it was so fun to put this all together for the first time. I just, especially being in our home, I just feel, again, so blessed and an your house needs a nativity scene. I feel like Jesus is the reason for the season, you gotta have one, and I'm so happy with how this one looks. The next day, I took down these summer spring curtains and I got these new curtains that actually match our other curtains, but these were on a mega Black Friday deal and I was super proud of myself. Like they were like half off, like it was, it was that good of a deal. AJ came home with his first buck mounted. I actually told him the other day, I was like, I feel like it doesn't feel like home without a deer on the wall. <laughs> I just grew up with deer everywhere on every wall, like multiple deer. And to me, I didn't, I didn't really realize just how much that feels like home to me. We kind of tried to figure out where we wanted it to go. This is when AJ hung it up and I was like, this was too high. This was higher than what I thought. And he showed me where he actually like we meant to put it, like he points in a second, but I knew instinctually this was way too high, we need to redo it. Um, AJ definitely tried to convince me that we didn't need to. I think it was good. I just can tell it's higher and it bothers me. I mean, I think it's nice if we're gonna have it like this. So I made him redo it <laughs> and I'm honestly really glad that I did. I feel like once it was up in the right spot, I just felt a lot of it, a little bit better about it, just it not being so close to the ceiling there not being so much space between like the chair and the deer um so yeah we eventually got it successfully hung up and to me it just it instantly made the house feel so homey to me i don't know what it is i'm a wisconsin girl and just felt like home Leather 
three ring binder for all of the recipes that I print out. This was the best thing I ever did. I actually got the idea from Maddie Ramirez on Instagram. I was like, this is genius. I have so many random printed off recipes that just sit in my recipe box and now I can have them all in one place in my kitchen. Best, best idea. Today, we are going to make our own decor. I actually got these two flannels from the local fabric store. I want to try and make star garland. So we're kind of gonna DIY it by ourselves. I don't really have a pattern or anything, but it should be pretty easy. See how it goes. And then maybe if it turns out, you guys can try and make your own. <laughs> really all you need is a sewing machine, thread, flannels, and then I got some stuffing and then some cotton yarn, which I need to get from the kitchen, but cotton yarn to both hang the stars to it. And then I think I'm gonna use the cotton yarn to like hang them as well. Let's get sewing. star honestly he'd be cute just like this but i do kind of want them to be puffy and i think at least for the garland that i'm doing it's gonna be kind of long and i don't know if i want them to be all white or all of that like kind of denim -y color i kind of want to make it interchangeable so that i can adjust it from there actually oh shoot i forgot to put the string like already connected to here so it have a little you know attachment <laughs> while i was sewing this too i forgot just how tiny these stars are going to be so i kind of messed up on this one you can see what i'm doing i'm just like poking out the edges of the star oh, it's a fun size though i feel like i just need to be more careful with like sewing it i kind of went cut fast it is a little <laughs> yeah i was not super careful with this one I will say, but, oh, I think the puffy stars are gonna be so cute. Okay, I'll give you a close. Now, I don't know how puffy I really want to go with these. I kind of wanna make sure I get it into their points so the points aren't too floppy, but honestly, like, I want these to look, you know, to have a lot of character, so I don't really mind if they're not perfect. Okay, I think that's kind of the about the amount that I want to stuff them. Okay, I'm kind of wondering if it would be better sew them on the strings, which it would make them not interchangeable, but I think it'd be better if they were just sewn on. This is my string that I'm talking about. I don't know if I want them to be like dangly. Hmm. Oh, I don't know, I'm so bad at decisions. Okay, I know that I'm going to like the white better, I think, and I'm kind of hesitant on mixing colors because I don't know if I'll like the contrast, but I feel like I need some contrast in my house, so. Okay, so I did this little one, which I, I'm actually like super obsessed. I should have learned or known not to sew like the opening at the tip of the star. So I, I wanted to do it different than the other ones just to see if I'd like it, but I don't. But I do like this brown or this like bluey tan. I guess it doesn't really look blue on camera, but I think we are gotta go with like the every other, right? Or like a random mix. They're so fun. It's so fun, I'm so excited. So I'm gonna keep making more, it'll probably take a bit. So I'm gonna zoom through making a couple of these because I want them to be pretty spaced out. I want it to look a little bit like, ooh, you know, like dangly, I guess. And versus like, if they were like this, I think I kind of want them spaced that more.
now for the grand finale me hanging up my star garland okay i'll be honest when i first hung it up i was like oh no this looks like a nursery it looks like a baby's room i wasn't really feeling it but then the next morning i was looking at it and i was like actually i think this is cute it looks like my house it looks very wintry and it kind of grew on me so i'm really happy with how it turned out Next, we lit up the little vintage angel that both me, my mom, and sister have, and there she is in all her glory, all lit up. I was so excited to see her on our little porch step. <laughs> and really, the next thing we have to do, or the last thing we have to do, is hang up all our ornaments, which is going to be such a process, and I'm not going to vlog that because between AJ and I, we have a lot. So, in the meantime, subscribe to the laundry chat. This is where we help each other sort out life's laundry, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.